Welcome into Drew Zilly Diamond for Saturday, October 19th, 2024, College Football Edition. Coming your way with a three pack of plays on today's slate, guys. Carrying that hot streak into the weekend 31 and 13, 70% run. That's over what, almost three weeks now, plus 16.42 units heading into the weekend here, guys. Looking to keep the good times rolling. Let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you agree with these picks, if you're up against me, all is welcome. What you're looking to bet on the Saturday and Sunday slate. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Getting us going early. Looks like 73 degrees. Minimal winds in Louisville, Kentucky for the Miami Hurricanes. Louisville Cardinals. 60 and a half being the total Looks like the Canes, minus four and a hook, minus five point road favorites. They come in 6-0, and 2-0 and in conference, off of a bye week, which we'll get into. Louisville, 4-2, and 2-1 and one in the ACC. They've lost the last two of the three straight up, dropped three straight against the spread, so might be getting a little bit overpriced here, talking about the Louisville side. It's just trust in Miami on the road. Hey, I got my questions here, guys. Now, off of the bye week, there's kind of some differing trends going on. One being Miami is 3-11 and 11, the last 14 bye weeks uh, the week after. So that's not good in terms of the extra preparation time. However, Mario Cristobal, their head coach, was 5-0 and 0 at Oregon off of a bye. So do what you will with those two stats. Really comes down to Miami getting off to that 4-0 start. Well, now they're 6-0. However, the last two games at Cal... And against Virginia Tech, they were very fortunate to win those games. Didn't cl come anywhere close to covering in those two. So, hey, can they fix kind of the issues they had down the slate? Maybe. I, I, I think they can. I mean, the quarterback-wise, really for both sides of this game. But Cam Ward, I would look for him to be able to score a bunch of points here with the Miami offense. It's just the questions on the Miami defense. Are they going to be able to fix those? I mean, they gave up, what, four or five plays to Cal that were over 50 yards. So the big play potential could be there for Louisville. And their quarterback, Tyler Shuck, he's he's underrated in my opinion, guys. I think we get a great quarterback matchup here. Two guys that got a shot playing the NFL. Interesting note, Tyler Shuck actually played under Mario Cristobal at the University of Oregon, he had a 16 to 6 touchdown to interception ratio with uh, Cristobal as his coach. Cristobal said very nice things about him coming in, about his family, about his arm strength, about everything. So I look for both of these offenses to score. I really would. And I think defensively, there's big question marks. I think both teams get into 30s, guys. Let's go up and over 60 in the hook. Fireworks early on the Saturday slate. We'll move down here, 3.30 Eastern time, a big one in Knoxville, Tennessee. What, it's the third weekend of October? I can't keep up with it. I'm talking Alabama, Tennessee here with an Auburn hat on. So give me a little bit of a break. But I'll tell you this, when an Auburn uh, alum bets Alabama, that's usually a, a profitable endeavor. And that's the way I'm going at this one, guys. Bama minus three as the road favorite, 57 being the total. Both teams coming in five and one overall. Two and one in conference. Whole world knows Alabama lost to Vanderbilt. They also did not look good last week against uh, South Carolina. The same thing could kind of be said for Tennessee, though. You know, they got off to that hot start offensively. But since playing SEC competition, they've really kind of tamped down on offense. Uh, they've struggled, really, quite frankly. That are At Arkansas, they lost outright as the favorite last week against Florida. That game went into overtime. I watched every play of that game. Tell you the truth, I thought Florida should have won the game. So, you know, what's going on here with the Tennessee side of things? They have not played good offensively. And when you look at who they've played defensively, like just the offenses that they've played, it's Florida, not all that great on offense. Arkansas really isn't that great on offense. Oklahoma, they haven't been able to do really anything on offense. And then other than that, it's Kent State, Chattanooga, NC State. So not a lot of meat on the bone in terms of good offenses. Alabama does have a good offense here, guys. And I think they're able to put up points. Uh, minus threes the side. And lastly here, guys, Josh Heupel, even going back to his UCF days, we've seen it here at Tennessee. You want to be betting on Josh Heupel coached offenses when they're up against lesser caliber of athlete on the defensive side where they can run up the score. That's where you kind of lay the points with Tennessee. Uh, not against like light competition here, which Alabama, I would say, has top to bottom of the roster more talent than Tennessee. 
that's not the type of profile I'm looking to bet on Tennessee in this this offense. So all of that putting me on Alabama, as tough as it is to say. But, hey, money is money. Minus three here, Bama over Tennessee. Got one game left, guys. Let me know in the comments below. A reminder, algorithm helps out the algorithm. Your uh, college football picks, NFL for tomorrow, all is welcome. If you're betting MLB, throw it out there, guys. Um, in the show, 31 and 13, 70% run plus 16.42 units. If we are betting a favorite on the money line, we are counting that in the VIG. We're not claiming 70% and throwing out minus 150s, guys. This is uh, this is legit record keeping here, guys. So, uh, yeah, smash that like button, comment below. Check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com. Heading into the weekend, 8-0-1 this week. So we've uh, we've been sizzling there with the clients. Number one overall Football totals handicapper the last four years. That's Drew Martin, wagertalk.com, extended packages up and available. If you buy next year, you get the rest of this year free. It's probably the best way to go, guys. All right, last game up, prime time. Georgia and Texas, 730 Eastern. Top five ranked matchup here in Austin, Texas. Does look like 60 degrees. Beautiful night there in Austin. 10 mile an hour winds. It's 57 being the total. Texas, minus five. As the home favorite, they're coming in number one ranked Texas Longhorns here, six and zero on the season, five and one against the spread. They've been a money maker. Georgia comes in five and one. That lost to Alabama, um, and really that was the only competitive point spread Georgia has played all season long. I, you could say the same for Texas. There's just not a whole lot of competitive matchups for both of these two teams, which kind of creates volatility. What's going to happen on the field? Well, we're going to find out here Saturday night. I'm going after this one, guys. I bring up the competitive point spreads. Some of it being Texas defense have a, has allowed less than a touchdown a game. They're the number one ranked defense, but, and this is a big but here, guys. <laughs> they played Oklahoma. We already went over Oklahoma's offense. They played Mississippi State, likely the worst team in the SEC. They played Louisiana Monroe. They played San Antonio. They played Michigan and Colorado State. None of those teams are anywhere comparable to the Georgia offense. I think Georgia is going to be able to score here. I think they're going to surprise some people out there and also bring in the fact, yeah, I think Texas is going to score as well. But when you can get five points with Kirby Smart and Georgia, the talent that they have here, Kirby Smart's three and one against the spread against number one ranked teams. He's 75% ATS against number one ranked teams in the country. He's also won seven of 11 times being the underdog. So watch out here, guys. I think this is a back and forth game. I think it's a toss up game. Therefore, give me the five points. Let's put it in our pocket with the Bulldogs barking. Sprinkle a little bit there on the money line. We're going Georgia Bulldogs plus five for the show. In recap, we got Alabama minus three over Tennessee. And we are going Miami Hurricanes, Louisville. Up and over 60 and a half to kick us off 9 a.m. Pacific here on Saturday. That's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond Saturday show, college football edition. We got the Sunday NFL edition coming up Saturday night. That will be out, guys. So check that out. Check out premium picks, wagertalk.com. Got the Saturday and Sunday all access package up and available in the 5%er going on Monday. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.